I'm going to be giving you the best Bitcoin trade setups to be waiting for next inside of this video, as well as talking about the importance of waiting for those high probability trade setups where we have several layers of different technical analysis tools all coming together to give us very, very high probability trade setups where we have all the cards in our hands and we are the casino trading against the market. I'm going to be talking you through those setups, the importance of patience and exactly how we are going to profit together in this market. So it's going to be a good one. We've seen a little bit of a rise from the range low. Ultimately, we are range bound. Where are we range bound between that $27,000 zone up to $28,000? So we've got a nice just over $1,000 range really held together very nicely from the same range and levels that I gave you last week where we were, of course, had that lower range point of control, uh, NPOC at 27,122 and the higher NPOC at 28,000. 287. As we know by now, price after that video ended up coming down to tapping the lower NPOC, rising to the higher NPOC, and coming back down to the lower NPOC once more. When you look at that from a you know TPO chart, we can see how the high was put in here on the 2nd of October from an old NPOC. I'm just showing you the importance here of naked point of controls right now. High overall there at 28,600 from a naked point of control. We came down, we came down, we came down, and we bottomed out at the lower naked point of control there around 27,100. We rose in price to that 28,200 zone for the NPOC. And now here we are back down once again at range low. When we look at this in terms of the charts, we can see really simply how that gave us the high, back down to the low, back up to the high, and now once more back down to the low. So we are very much range bound, higher the range, low of the range, high of the range, low of the range. But what's obviously helpful is when you have your levels marked out, that way you know, for example, when to long off of the range low, you get a swing failure pattern onto the NPOC, you know, well, your target can be that higher NPOC. You know, you've got to wait for the highs and lows of the range to give you, you know, good trade setups. So looking at what's next, let's, uh, let's presume that you're in no trade setup right now. You're not in any shorts, you're not in any longs, okay? You don't really want to be taking a trade, you know, at the top, you know, this is a moving down on a time frame, but you don't want to be really taking a trade now, do you? You've just seen a pretty local high rise to the upside. This would be classed as a little bit of FOMO, right? You'd want to wait for a, another decrease in, or, or increase in price. Increase is when we look for shorts and decreases are we look for longs. So we're really going to be remaining then a little bit patient. Way that I mark out my charts now are these two NPOCs are actually tapped. So I like to remove them when they are tapped. Okay. And we can add on our higher term timeframe levels. So we can actually see right now, we do not have any of these higher term timeframe levels left within the range. Of course, it's pretty simple what we're doing right now, right? Lows, range high, you know, and just absolutely range bounds. So if that's the case, then we can look back up towards range high once more at $28,000. Um, but what I personally am going to be doing is looking for the next best swing trade. And there's a few things that you can be doing while you're, let's, let's say you're not in a trade on Bitcoin and you're waiting for a very high probability trade setup. We well, have a few options, right? Uh, option number one is simply place alerts and remain patient for those alerts to be hit. Okay, option number two is, you know, this is the advantage of having coaches that trade all markets. Head over to the ES, give Rivalry a follow, and, you know, he's trading the ES every single day. Well, you don't want to be doing that, we'll head over and check out Coach Severin. Uh, he's going to be trading the NQ every single day. You know, you don't like that? Well, you've got Igor who's going to be trading it all <laughs> every single day. So, want to focus on that, that you can be following the other coaches and following the other markets from the ES to the NQ to the stock market, Forex market, even looking at all of the altcoins that we have. If you're waiting on a Bitcoin setup, do that. Wait on that high probability setup. Do not get yourself trading up, you know, after a large rise in FOMO or after a large drop in fear. You've got to remain patient for the levels and trades that you have planned. Just as Severin says, right, make the plan 
share the plan even better when he does that right and then trade the plan together as a team so that's what we're going to be doing at chart champions and that's what i'm going to be now explaining the next levels of interest uh, that we have of course right now we are getting that little bit of a bounce underway from range low okay and that's just simple range theory right range high range low range high back down to the range low around 27k okay so we're getting that bit of a bounce underway but the bigger levels of interest that we have okay so i'm going to be explaining that to you now for me again we have alerts around 28k and that will be our simple range trade strategy but if we want to be looking for the next short trade out of this range well that's where i've been talking about it for a while but above twenty nine thousand dollars between 29,112 to that 29,500 zone. This is our next big zone of resistance. I've already given my opinion on this and how I, even though it is a big technical level, I feel that we can, you know, blast through it if we get up this high. But this is our, technically speaking, big zone of resistance. So rather than trying to short at $27,000, which, you know, not of interest for me, that's range low and support. That's where you look for longs, right? I'm going to be saying, yeah, range high, acceptable. If we break out a range high, this is my very big area of interest. I'll always trade the reaction, but this is a level where I'm really happy to remain patient for, okay? So that's, of course, if we get this rise for the short trade. In terms of longs, we always got to wait for drops in prices. So a reminder, we only short the market when price is rising and we only long when price is dropping. Just got two very quick announcements that I want to remind you for before I get on to the long trade setup. And that is, you know, Bybit now have obviously removed uh, UK traders as well as many other exchanges have removed UK traders. Uh, but I can confirm that I have KYC'd on a different ID and uh, Bybit let me keep my same account take out my old KYC, put in my new one and, you know, working with a VPN, everything is fine. So I can continue trading on Bybit as always, uh, just with a different KYC, which of course is not UK KYC, right? So just to let you know, that is uh, an option for everybody that's interested in that. And if you're not, then I've also done this. I've put some money into Bing X, put some into Femex, uh, you know, just diversifying a little bit and trying out new exchanges. So if you want to follow along on them, of course, we have the best dis dis the best exchange deposit bonuses that are available anywhere right now and you can get them all via the deals page if that's of interest to you you know where you can get them uh, and the last thing that i want to mention to you is something that's of interest to me right now and that is um you know for example how to spend your first one million dollars um this is a video that i made today for you all and it's something that I really thought people would never find interesting. I thought, you know, people aren't going to be interested in my opinion. <laughs> uh, why, why, you know, but they are, right? You watch these videos because you're interested in my opinion. And people have been asking uh, for me to make these extra types of videos. And, you know, I can see why, right? I do have this unique viewpoint and expertise when it comes to trading, uh, when it comes to, you know, making the profits and then using them in other areas. So, uh, if you want to know, for example, how to spend your first million once you've conquered the next bull market, whether you're interested in, you know, finding uh, travel ideas, just tips on remaining focused, positive, uh, happy and, you know, successful in trading. Well, I'm going to be uploading those types of short content videos one minute long uh, to TikTok. That will be my main platform where I'll be uploading the majority now is on TikTok. Uh, but I'm also going to upload some reels to the Instagram and I'll upload some of the shorts onto the CC pool, which is our second channel. So if you're interested in that, you can give us a follow for all of the videos on TikTok. For the more of the lifestyle videos will be on Instagram and then the more training videos, I'll upload them onto the second YouTube channel as well. Um, so, yeah, that is everything that I wanted to give in terms of the announcements. And now I'll move on and end with looking for the long trade. So this is if you didn't long the range low, uh, then really I'd be saying the next bigger level of support that we have actually really does sit below $26,000. So of course we do have some levels of interest. So we don't, we don't expect it to just go from 27 straight to 26. You know, even here where you're going from, you know, that, that naked point of control, you make your way all the way down to range low. There are bounces to be had on the way down, right? So when we zoom in here, we can see a bounce here. We can see a bounce here. These are profitable moves for lower term time frame traders. You just got to be locking in profits on the bounce when you're trading, you know, internally between range low and high. The levels that you are looking to long on the way down are just used for 
you know, potential reversals, of course, but more looking in that take profit one quick. So that's what we would be doing, looking down towards, you know, for example, the monthly naked point of control. It's an acceptable long trade, just as this daily is here, to be fair, this daily that we have locally. We can be looking for a swing failure pattern type move onto this, right? But these are what I consider more get the entry, get out with your first take profit, well, not close the position totally, but I mean, get out in terms of taking your first take profit quickly. For example, at the intraday VWAP is a very nice take profit one. As we can see this bounce that we're getting right now, where could be a nice take profit one? You know, on the VWAP. This is, of course, if you longed the, the low of the range, get in your take profit one at the VWAP. And then what you would do is having locked in take profit one, let the rest of the trade run. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to give a very quick example. Let's say you longed the retest down here. Well, there's two options that you could have done, right? Let's say that you longed the SFP, which is this SFP here. Here's the low. There's an SFP. Let's say you long that. Or let's say that you long the CC retest. One of these options, SFP or the CC retest. Your stop loss on both of those longs after this swing failure pattern entry is going to be around here. Stop loss is below the low. The way that you are basically going to be lining that up is taking your entry after the swing failure pattern, entry after the SFB, uh, sorry, on the CC retest. And you would be looking at it like this. Take profit one could be the VWAP, which is also about around that local at the time range high. That's take profit one. After hitting take profit one, move that stop loss up to as a around entry. And with the rest of the trade, let it run for higher prices. That way you are locking in that first take profit. So if price had hit that take profit one and reversed on you and stopped you out, you would have still ended with a bit of profit, right? And that's the main thing, not taking a loss. And then if it does something like this, where you hit take profit one and then it continues higher, well, that long is now making even more profit. You can look for a take profit two. OK, and then move the stop loss up once even more to profits. Then if you got stopped out, you're making very good profits, even if you get a drop. So that's the way that I love to approach these trades. You know, look for the entry, look for the quick take profit one. OK, and then once that take profit one is hit, move the stop loss up and then wait for the next best trade to come to you, uh, which, you know, I've explained for me is really down around twenty six thousand dollars and above twenty nine thousand dollars. There are levels in the meantime within the range, outside of the range, but these are more quicker trades uh, for me. And this video was, you know, trying to really explain the next best swing trades that we got. So yeah, that is um, what I'm waiting for. If you want to see more from myself and the team, you know where to get it. Whether you're in love with Igor, Rivalry or Severin, um, all of us are active inside of the Discord every day where we go over our trade plans and exactly what we're looking for next. If you want to see more of the short form content that I'm going to be making, where well, you know where you can get that, right? Over on TikTok, Instagram and the second YouTube channel that we have. I'll leave those descriptions down below along with the deals page if you want to take advantage of one of our exclusive exchange affiliate bonuses. So I'm just going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. I have thoroughly enjoyed making it as always. Let's get back to the charts. Let's make some profits and let's remain patient for those big levels to come into play. Thank you, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.